Week 17. <laughs> Hello. Look at your badges. Don't they look cool? Okay, I'll tell you about them in a moment. All right, let's start with prayer. Hands together, close your eyes, let's pray. All right, thank you, Lord, for bringing us here. Thank you that we can learn a bit about the Psalms today. And uh, thank you, Lord, that you've given us a voice and songs to sing so we can praise you with them. We thank you for Jesus, who is worthy of our praise. And in his name we pray. Amen. 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 Okay, so sit quietly. Pay attention when the bishop's talking. And put your hand up if you want to say something. Okay, we don't just call out. So these are our attendance pins. So we gave you all four gems today. So the way this is going to work, so you understand, children, this is your attendance pin. You, these are gems that we're putting into those holes. How many gems did you get? Who knows? Simon, how many gems? Four gems. So each one of these is going to represent four weeks. Okay, so that means you can miss three in the year because there's going to be one week where we don't have this hole. You can miss three in the year and you'll still get all 12 gems. So every four, you're going to get one gem. So we're up to week 17. So that's why we've got four gems on there. So we're all going to start at the same point. Even though you may have missed some Bible clubs before, we're going to start at the same point from now on. And then if you get every four attendances you get, you're going to get one gem. So at the end of the year, if you come to every Bible club, that's going to be full. Okay, Simon, yeah? I'm not too sure. Superstar. <laughs> Because you're a super, I'm just making that up. I'm not too sure what that stands for. It probably stands for Sparks or something. Maybe it stands for Simon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're looking at some, or we're looking at book 19 today. 19? You know your numbers? <laughs> book 19 is the Psalms. Now, do you know what the book Psalms is about? No? Well, do you know what a psalm is? A psalm is a song. So just like we sing hymns in the morning, that's another word for a spiritual song, isn't it? So you have spiritual songs, psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. So the book of Psalms is a song book. Did you know that? Did you know that in the Bible, you have a book that is a song book? And even though it's a song book, it's got God's word in there. So that's why the Psalms, it's about praising God. If you think about what the Psalms are about, they praise God. There's stories that it teaches us. Right, Abel? There's stories in there. Yeah, Jeremiah? Stories in the Psalms. There's doctrine in the Psalms. There's also a lot of prophecy in the Psalms. A lot of the Psalms are about Jesus. When he came and he suffered where it was, you know, a lot of things about him. So the Psalms is a songbook. Isn't that interesting? God loves songs so much that, you know, the biggest, what do you think the biggest book in the Bible, or the biggest book in the Bible is? Take a guess. What do you think? Proverbs. No, not Proverbs. Here's a hint. We're learning about it today. Psalms. Psalms. Right, so don't you think God loves songs so much, doesn't he? That he had the longest book in the Bible was about was songs. But do you know what the longest chapter in the Bible is about? Can you take a guess? Anyone want to guess? The longest chapter in the Bible is about the Bible. And you know where the longest chapter in the Bible is? That's right. The longest chapter in the Bible is in Psalms. Longest chapter is about the Bible. The biggest book is the book of songs. Now, this is a picture of King David. He probably didn't have long hair. Looks like he had better hair when he was younger. But this is a picture of David because King David 
was the one that wrote a lot of the Psalms. God used King David to write a lot of those songs. And he was known as the sweet psalmist of Israel, like a hymn writer, songwriter. And through, through King David, God spoke a lot of the songs that we find in Psalms today. So that's King David. You see, he's, he's writing out his songs. Look, he's got his harp. That he's playing his instrument. I don't know if there's ten strings there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's his instrument of ten strings. Okay, so here's the psalm. We're going to read it together. Psalm chapter 40, verse 3. And he hath put a new song in my mouth. That's the he talking about. God. See, when we get saved. God's Spirit dwells in us, and now we have this new nature. And the Bible says He's put a new song in my mouth. What's the type of songs that we, He puts in our mouth? Even praise unto our God. What does it mean to praise? That means to thank or to lift up. When we sing to God, God really likes it. It says here, Many shall see it and fear and shall trust in the Lord. So you see, when we sing unto the Lord, people see us singing to the Lord and look it has the effect that they'll trust in the Lord and fear him even more so you know God you know God really loves hearing you sing and that's why when Simon sings really nice in the morning God's very pleased with that did you know that God's very happy you know who gave you your voice God gave you your voice and he loves to hear you sing that's why in the morning when we sing our songs should you be sitting there quiet no. When it's time to sing together, we want to praise God. We want to let everyone hear that new song in our mouth. So this morning, when you sing, you want to sing nice and loud, don't you? Sing along with the songs. Let's read this together. Psalm, so the P, the P is silent, isn't it? So Psalm chapter 40, verse 3. And he hath put... A new song in my mouth, even praise unto our God. Many shall see it and fear and shall trust in the Lord. Psalm chapter 40, verse 3. So like I said, if you read through the Psalms, a lot of the Psalms are talking about Jesus. So we learn a lot of stories, we learn a lot of things about God, we learn a lot of things in the Psalms. And one thing we learn about in the Psalms as well is about Jesus. Jesus on the cross, he said, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? That was from the Psalms. Did you know that? Did you know when Jesus said that? That was, that was a Psalm of him suffering and dying for your sins. You know, you have sin, and your sin is deserving of a punishment, hell. But if you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you'll be saved. You just have to put your faith on him, call upon Jesus and say, Jesus, save me. I'm a sinner. And the moment you do that, the Bible says you have everlasting life. Isn't that a beautiful thing? And the biggest book in the Bible tells us about our Savior. So as an activity today, <laughs> I'm going to teach you some action songs. So I don't know if you guys have learned some of these action songs, but we'll do some together. So an action song is we sing a song because we're talking about the Psalms today. We're going to sing a song. I'm going to, I'm going to teach you the actions to go with them. So help you to remember the song. and Hopefully you'll have some fun as we...